hey y'all welcome and welcome back to the channel we are back today with another part to our growing together lp ren just got up from the floor she is very uncomfortable she slept on a sleeping bag last night because her grandparents were taking her bed and yeah so she had to sleep on the floor and she woke up with a sore bag my bag from slumbering in a sleeping bag who knew sleeping on the floor could hurt so much ouch so she's very very uncomfortable she just got up she brushed her teeth and she came in here she saw her baby on the floor so she decided to go ahead and try some tummy time with her just to see what she can do today because this morning Ren missed it she has a babel milestone unlocked so Nyla's babbling y'all she's gonna be aging up in like a day I believe too so we don't have a lot of time with her as an infant but it's all good she um, is doing really good she just got her lift head milestone too so she's doing really really good she's literally hating it right now but <laughs> baby life Raven's in the kitchen cooking with her mom y'all it is so early but she's in the kitchen cooking with her mom she's gonna work from home again today because she I mean her mom's home and is here and she wants to spend time with her and she don't want to be at work all day missing time with her you know so she's gonna stay home they're in here cooking together um we're gonna have to get this fixed let's see if we can have someone i don't think we can have anyone fix it i wish her um stepdad could fix it but he can't but yeah she made some eggs and soldiers and she's gonna sit down to a plate of that and she's gonna tell everyone to come get them some food too if they are hungry and everyone is probably pretty much hungry at least a little bit but today we also do have a little bit of stuff to do with Ren finishing up her application for college her mom's obviously gonna have to do some work from home again she's Oh, she's gonna volunteer time and tutor a student online. Ren has to go to work in an hour. She's tense from a hangnail. Raven's nails have rebelled against her, so she, maybe her skin's just a little dry. Bad surroundings, achy mouthful, mystery mouth melody. So she's gonna have to go to the dentist. Like, she's in so much pain. So I think I'm gonna have her go to the dentist I mean she stayed home so that she could spend time with her mom but at the same time she also needs to take care of herself especially when she's in pain so she's gonna book a dentist appointment for herself and we're gonna get her in there go ahead and knock it out today she's so tense go to dentist appointment and that's gonna be a thousand dollars I mean they got a bit of money so they're good for the most part they're pretty good so she's just going to get ready to go jr is in the bed he is so freaking late for school jr he y'all he was up last night there was a monster on his bed making a whole bunch of noise scratching and stuff and he was so terrified so he overslept this morning because he just didn't get a lot of sleep last night and ran's on her way to school Lamont just got home. He's super tired. JR had him up all night, so he's exhausted. We're gonna have him go inside of the house and get some sleep too. Everyone's literally gone to school, work, dentist appointment. He just got home, he's super tired. And he's sitting outside in the rocking chair. The dentist didn't see anything worrisome but can prescribe some medication if the pain continues. Does Raven need some medication for the pain? I'm gonna say yes. Raven has been prescribed medication. She can take the medication and each dose will last for six hours. Okay, yeah, she decided to take some medication home just in case because she doesn't know if she'll need it, but just in case she needs it, she'll have it. Her brother just called. Remember when we talked about May Prescott? We went on a very nice date. Okay, congrats. So Raven just got home and she's very tense, but she's gonna go inside the house and she decided, she thinks she's just gonna wait to take the medication. She was going to take it, but at the same time, she just wants to right now see if the pain will go away on its own. 
she came in gave her husband a kiss on the cheek they are so in love it's so cute but she came in gave him a kiss on the cheek because he's been at work and she wanted to see how he was doing um kiss and tell lamont spent most of recess running around trying to kiss some of the other students he didn't catch anybody but the other students were running away honestly i think jr was y'all know he loves to joke around just kids being kids too young for kissing ask him to apologize um she's gonna say just kids being kids because she knows jr loves telling jokes so that's what she's gonna tell the teacher it's just kids being kids it's not so serious but he's obviously very tense as well risky fishing from catching dangerously endangered legal lamont ignored the difference and instead focused on bringing in as many fish as possible while good for his career the authorities wouldn't take it kindly if they found out so lamont was at work trying to make as much money as he possibly could but he's got to figure out a better way to do it because the way he did it today got him very tense underprepared from forgetting daily tasks how could lamont slip like this First is just simple tasks. Second, he might end up failing at important things like his occupation or skills. Um, bad surroundings and shared sadness, desire for excitement from early midlife crisis. Lamont is feeling bored and wants more out of life. Things are just blah right now. So he's very stressed, he's very tense. He's had a really rough day. And right now he's just, he just needs his wife, honestly. So since he obviously had a rough day at work, she's gonna go sit down with him. She's telling him, baby, come sit down and talk to me. So he's gonna sit down with her. They're gonna talk a little bit and just let him vent. Grandma Noemi must be stressed as well, y'all. She's trying to calm herself down. I don't know why she's been so angry, but she has been very angry. Nyla's still sleeping. We're gonna have JR actively participate and we're gonna have Ren work hard what is that why is he is he smoking what did he do i honestly think he was in here trying to fix or he did fix it he fixed the freaking dishwasher and probably sizzled himself omar is calling her again luca drake and i just had a blast together thank you for your advice what is she in here doing y'all everything's just broken in our house I'm gonna have Lamont fix this too. But she also remembered that she had told her sister that she would call her back when her sister asked her to come hang out with her at her house. So she's going to invite her over here since she just remembered. She's like, I can't believe I almost forgot to do that. Rin just got home and she forgot. She honestly forgot that Arissa told her that she was coming over. So she's gonna come up and give her a hug and see what's up with her. Y'all, why you had to stand in the rain? But okay. She's like, girl, come inside. Let's get out of the rain. So they're gonna go inside, sit down, chat a little bit, and just catch up. Alma just arrived and Raven's gonna give her a hug and then they're gonna sit and talk a little bit she knew alma was pregnant but she did not know she was so big already um i don't know what trimester she's in but y'all i honestly really want to just be nosy so let's go in here and see um she's in her second trimester she's gonna have a baby girl and her partner is her wife so maybe they had a donor or they went through some kind of medical they had to right <laughs> i thought she was out here giving that thing up but the situation was on the up and up and raven's just asking her about her pregnancy how are you doing with it it was okay for you coming over here in the rain you didn't have a hard time did you she was like no nah, it was fine it wasn't too bad anyway but she's talking to her about um what's his name Lee when Lee had sent her that message the other day um, she's talking to her about that because she found it very rude and she's like should I tell my husband about it because it really peed me off and she's like hey tell your husband because at the end of the day he had no business sending you any kind of messages like that so 
she's gonna probably think about it a little more before she does but she's probably gonna tell her husband we're gonna put this food in the fridge I know y'all lying to me they just been standing in here looking at her she is super hungry she y'all look at my baby pops do something but she has a grab milestone um I'm gonna have look at Ren she's sleeping Ren had a very hard day y'all she's in here on the couch knocked out and Lamont's standing right here y'all he's not playing about his grandbaby like yeah no he ain't putting up with this like what is going on up in here so he's going to just take care of her real quick and get her all cleaned up y'all he not having it so he's even going to take her to give her a bath school science fair lamont there's a science fair in school tomorrow do you want to participate high achieving participants receive a performance boost and a nominal cash prize he's gonna say yes because who wouldn't want that money Raven's going to she told her husband that she needed to talk to him so they're gonna come sit down and talk a little bit so she brought him in here so that she could talk to him and tell him about the things that are on her mind but yeah she brought him in here strict I think maybe she heard about all the things that JR does at school and she's like enough is enough when it comes to Noemi and Lamont a sense of order seems to abound okay Grandma Noemi and they're putting the foot down. But she brought him in here so that she could talk to him about the message that Lee sent her on her phone. And she's like, I have no idea why he sent the message, but it was really rude. And I really just didn't appreciate it at all. I don't know why he thought to send that message to me, but he did. And Lamont is like, he just can't believe he sent her that message. So what he's gonna do, is send him a text Becca we've heard that you're quite the brainiac you'd make a great tech guru with your reputation and skills you could become an esports gamer or entrepreneur in no time how about I help you jump the ranks no need to start as a code monkey you can join as a project manager want in Ren's not really techie she wants to accept it but then she's like what if I fail what if I don't do as good as I would like to do so she doesn't know but at the end of the day she does want to make more money so that she can provide for her child but that's also why she's going to school and she may not have time to do this job or go to school if she take this job so she's gonna decline it but yeah he sent Lee the message and he asked him if he was home so he's going to make his way over so that he can talk to him and we'll see y'all when we get there Lamont's made it here and he knocked on the door they they told him to come in Lee was behind him y'all he must have been somewhere else and he just made it here so he's gonna ask him to come outside so that they can talk and I just want them to talk y'all so I don't know what might pop off look how Lamont's looking at him but he just walked like come on why did you go back back inside I didn't want them to fight in front of his son, but this is what they are doing. He's like hovering over him, but he's basically gonna ask him, why did he send that message to his wife? Um, yeah, y'all, he's so rude. He's trying to tell Lamont that it was a mistake. He sent the message to the wrong number. Lamont seriously just does not believe him. He's like, he didn't mean to send it to his wife. He meant to send it to someone else. But Lamont honestly has no idea how he even had his freaking number. So he's like, delete the number from your phone. Don't ever send her anything like that again. He said, he's like, I'm, I told you it was an accident. I didn't mean to send it to her. But he's like, yeah, yeah, whatever. Just delete the number. He's like, all right, man. I'll just delete it. It's whatever. He honestly had no idea this is why Lamont decided to come over here. But he just needed to come over to let him know make sure you have the right number next time before you send something to someone's phone especially his wife but Lamont came over did what he had to do and now he's about to go home y'all he's too tired for all of this his wife didn't want to tell him any of this but at the end of the day she felt like she needed to let him know 
And back at home, Ren is working on her. She's requesting a guidance counselor letter of recommendation, and then she's gonna request her high school transcript as well. She's just doing what she needs to do in order to get her application finished. What is she, why is she sad? Rest time, oh, she's sleepy. Lamont came home, he took a shower and went straight to bed. He's just had a very long day and he's tired of everything. <laughs> Okay, now Ren is done with her letter of recommendation and her transcript. Now she's gonna request a letter of recommendation from a teacher. And she's done with that. She's just blasting through this stuff. So let's see what else she can do. Um, register for university ex entrance exam. Resume study course for university entrance exams. Um, write application essay schedule admissions interview so she's gonna do the application essay that's what I'm gonna have her do and y'all she's almost done clean clothing got the promotion oh she got promoted I had no idea she got promoted at work from promotion promotions mean everything to ambitious sims how soon until the next one what good job Ren first promotion reached the top of the career. Ren was promoted to a customer support in the retail employee career. She acquired the writing skill. Raven's getting ready for bed. She's gonna take her medicine for the pain and then she's gonna lay down and go to sleep, y'all. It's just, she's just in way too much pain. She feels like if she sleeps, maybe that'll help too. Y'all, Ren is like a quarter of the way through with her essay. She's writing and doing all of this stuff so fast. Ren's counselor recommendation has been submitted and received by the admissions committee. Okay, what else has been done? Ren's teacher has received her recommendation request and will let her know when it's been sent. Ren's school has received her transcript request and will notify her when it has been sent to the admissions committee. Nyla's super freaking tired but okay grandma noemi's picking her up and taking her out of the room where is she taking her oh maybe she's gonna rock her oh she's giving her a bottle so adorable she went and got her to feed her maybe she's gonna hold her until she falls asleep i'm wondering if he keeps passing gas and he's still smoking i think it was that dishwasher i really do I think he walking around here passing gas though because it wasn't just black smoke it was like gassy gas but yeah she's sitting here talking to him while she writes her essay she's telling him that she's trying to go to school she has all of this she's writing her essay right now it's almost done but she's trying to figure out the last few lines to this paragraph before she's done with it and she's kind of struggling because she honestly wants to just be done with it so since she wants to stop, she's going to. She heard a knock at the door, so she's going to go see who that is. But she's going to invite Jay in. Like, what's going on with him? Is he sad? He's probably sad because she's sad. Oh. I really value the time we spend together. I think it's made us closer than ever. Ren's requested transcript has been sent to the admissions committee. Okay, so she's talking to him about going to school. He's like, I knew you was gonna do that. Like he couldn't, he couldn't believe that she hadn't done it already because it was always something that she talked about doing was going to school. And he's just like, yeah, that'll be good for you. It'll be something that you can do, something to get your mind off of everything. Like Ren is so freaking sad that she's just like, gonna go cry it out, okay. I just think the amount of work that she had to do with applying for school and everything is becoming a lot. She's so stressed and she just she just really needs a, a beat. She needs to take a beat, honestly. So she's just gonna talk about it and with him and see what his, honestly she asked him for advice on what he thinks she should do. but. She also heard her baby, so she was like, I'll be right back. 
JR is in the living room. He just got a project from school. So he's going to place it down. And I'm just going to move it back some because it's in the floor. And I want him to start working on it to see if he can get his grades up even more. And it is a medieval castle. So that's pretty cool. So he's going to sit here and work on this. It is something in the house is dirty. I don't know exactly what it is, but someone's going to have to get in here and clean up because it's putting everybody in a really bad mood. But he's working on his project and he's also talking to Jay at the same time. He's just feeling very embarrassed. Why are you embarrassed though, baby? Awful school day. Drop the tray in front of everyone in the cafeteria today. How embarrassing. Oh, that's why he's embarrassed. Everybody turned around, looked at him, was pointing and all kinds of things. And he just was not feeling that. He does, he likes to tell jokes, but he don't like to be the butt of the jokes. So that put him into a pretty funky mood. Ren's putting her baby to sleep finally. Like she's so tired. Look at her grabbing her little feet. Oh my gosh. That was super cute. But she did tell Jay that she would come back out and talk to him. So she's gonna sit over here on the couch and talk to him for a little bit. Just about everything, life in general, cause everything has just been a struggle these days. So yeah, I think this will be a good point to cut the video. So I'm going to stop it right here. If you guys did enjoy, please give it a huge thumbs up. Comment any suggestions you may have down below. If you have not already, please feel free to subscribe. I would love, love, love to have you here. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye, y'all.